Hello world, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. If not, as always, I hope it gets better for you. So today we're gonna to cover a couple different things. I've got a bunch of killifish in from the Killifish Carnival. Shout out to Michiana Aquarium Society for hosting and throwing that and all the killifish breeders that keep this hobby going as far as killifish go because they are way underrated. Many people don't know about them. We need more people breeding them. And it's real important that we get these killifish out, especially for conservation reasons. Now we can't even get killifish from Brazil. So hopefully, hopefully this will inspire some other people to get into killifish breeding and to uh, help continue what a lot of these people have been keeping for years and years. But anyways, let me show you guys what I got from there. Oh, and also gonna show you guys what I do with new fish as far as many of you guys have heard me talk about it in my live streams on Friday nights where I wash the fish and give them fish bass. I'm gonna show you guys how I actually do that too. So here we go. Here's what I brought back from South Bend, Indiana. Killifish Carnival every year happens. I believe it'll be beginning of May next year or within May. You can always check out Michiana Aquarium Society for more information on it. And yeah, I got a few here, a few killifish. And also to share with you, here in Bourbon, Indiana from the Michiana Aquarium Society, they're gonna have an auction here Saturday, May 22nd. You can pause, see all the info there. Then as well, you have the AKA National Convention. So this is all the clubs like the whole AKA coming together, the whole big shebang National Convention for Killifish in St. Louis. And that is in June 11 to 13th. Once again, you can pause, see all what's going on there, the speakers and stuff where it's gonna be. And also, you've got the Waco or Waco, whichever you would like to pronounce it. You can see them, their website, little information, pause, Saturday, November 6, 2021. You see they got box sales, all kinds of stuff, displays of Achilles, all kinds of really neat stuff. So if you guys are into Achilles, want something to do, you guys are near this area, or we even wanna fly in to check out something like this because you've never done something like this. I always enjoy going to these conventions and great people to hang out with, auctions. I mean, you get killer deals. You never know what's gonna show up at these things. So if you guys do get a chance and wanted to share this information for, with you guys, Got all these so I can share with you guys. So I don't have time to breed them all. But the least I can do is try to get these out into the hobby. Because some of these fish are just absolutely amazing. And I know a lot of people don't know a whole lot about these killifish. And they do get intimidated. There is a lot of basic information out there. If you go out to the Google, AKA, and uh, look up the, their names, you can find breeding information about how to breed them. Uh, many are just peat spawners, mop spawners. Um, some do have a dry season for their eggs. But you can find that information online if you really search. I did end up taking video clips of all these fish here, so I will catalog them on the channel. Subscribe, stay tuned for that. And as well, I have made videos of them before. So if you just YouTube search LRB Killifish, um, should get some more information on these and uh, what they look like. But the main reason why I'm making this video is to show you guys how I do the fish bass. That and to get you guys breeding killifish. That's really the number one. But let's get to the fish bath. I guess we'll take these guys. Dun, 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 dun. Before we get started here, I must talk about my water system. Since my water system has a pre filter, which you can get these in a carbon block as well, where you can put a carbon filter in there to get the chlorine chloramine out. I have a carbon tower, which I put like these pellets in here. You can get granules or whatever. But as the water runs through there, the carbon really does a lot for your water chlorine chloramine. So I can get away with washing them in the sink. Now say you don't have a system like that, you can get your aquarium water and use a pitcher to do what we're about to do here. First thing first, I want those guys getting down there. All right, so here we have some Scryptosemian Guaganardi Banfora. I hope I said that right, but absolutely beautiful fish. Let's get these guys a bath. First thing first, get them out of the big bag.
Always remember to recycle these too. All right, let the bathing begin. Make sure you got a good temperature. Room temp I always go for, roughly around there. Never hurts to wash the bag a little bit and clean it off. And then as I give them a bath, I try not to go make it more as direct into the water. I'll either use my hand or something to disperse the water. Dump it out. There's duckweed, all kinds of stuff in here. You can see there's barely him in any water. The dilution is the solution. That's pretty much the whole key and idea of this process is dilution is the solution when it comes to bacteria, funguses, other uh, parasites that could be in the water. Yeah, pretty much this is it. You just keep bathing them. As I pour this water out here, I watch the direction of the killifish. That's how I can tell that he's not going to jump out. If he goes the other way, that's when I tilt the bag up real fast. That way he won't end up jumping because they will. They will. You also see me playing with the handles there for the water because the temperature was changing. It's good to get it consistent before you start. You know, this water is not the exact parameter or numbers that exact pH or anything like that. It's not gonna matter since it's only temporary. Fish are used to fluctuations. And I'll just pour them in there. Boom, ski. There's one. And in here I always like to give them an extra little rinse. Out of the container too. Good thing with fish, they always want to swim into the water, not out of the water, usually. Although some fish can live in sterile water like this, it's not recommended to keep fish in sterile water like this. And I do keep dirty tanks full of Mother Nature's goodness. And we have some nice clean killifish. And now they'll go into quarantine. Always quarantine your fish. And of course, if you got a new tank, that is gonna be your quarantine. So that's pretty much all I do. And like I said, dilution's the solution. Getting rid of all that. And ever since I've been doing this process, it has helped me a ton, a ton. Like my success rate has gone up 90% plus. That's what I wanna share it with you guys. Stop. And you can ask Sarah too, when's the last time I had to treat a fish? I don't know. All right, so that pair's done. Now I just gotta get to the rest of these guys. And if you guys are looking for killifish, check out my site here and probably about LRBAquatics.com this weekend. And should have it all up there for you guys. So there you have it. That's what I do with new fish when I get new fish. Now I know this should help so many people in the hobby because I remember when I was getting new fish from local fish stores, wherever, you just never know what's in the water. And ever since I started doing this technique, it has helped me tremendously, as I mentioned. I have not had to treat fish for pretty much anything since I've been doing this. I can't recall a time that I've had to treat a fish for anything since I've been doing this so it's kind of crazy and it works really well so hopefully this helps some of you guys hopefully some of you guys have learned something and uh, hit the like button if you did that way it shows me you guys enjoy this content and uh, share it with your friends uh, that way that they're not having issues as well so also hit the subscribe button there's also all kinds of great stuff coming out here soon till next time everybody peace have a great one I appreciate y'all watching peace.